Hi, my name is Paul Baines. I'm Professor of Political Marketing at Cranfield University and co-author of Marketing by Oxford University Press. In this next clip, we talk to Phil Williams, Director of Strategy and Pricing at Simply Business, an online insurance company. And in this clip, Phil talks about the difficulties of incorporating customer data into price setting. Uh, I'm Phil Williams. I'm the Director of Strategy and Pricing here at Simply Business. Uh, we're the UK's largest SME insurance provider. Uh, we provide insurance to 360,000 customers here in the UK. And we operate uh, both under our own brand, Simply Business, and distribute through two large comparison websites here in the UK, GoCompare and Money Supermarket. Commercial lines insurance is still predominantly distributed through high street brokers. Um, so, so those brokers will normally uh, negotiate their commissions directly with their insurers. Um, the, the pricing of insurance is set by the insurers um, based on the risk that they're, that, that they're seeing. So whether that be a, um, a high turnover business or a low turnover business or whether the, um, the business has had any, uh, works with any strange things like, like heat or, um, or at, at heights. Um, and then the, the commissions are, are set as a, as a cost plus on top of that. Um, and brokers will be free to negotiate that, those levels of commissions with the insurers themselves. So brokers that are able to um, deliver better quality clients to, to the insurers will typically be able to negotiate better commission levels. Um, and and you know, th that presents a, a few challenges for businesses like ours. Um, our business, it, being an online one, has to adapt to the online, uh, you know, the fast-paced nature of that. It's, it's, it's very difficult for us to, um, uh, to, to have to, on a case-by-case -case basis, negotiate with um, our insurance companies at uh, the level of margin, um, and much better for us to have more control over that. So that's what we've done. Uh, the number one uh, thing to consider with, with developing a pricing strategy is, what's my competition doing? How are my prices set against the market? Um, in, a, in, in any of the markets, that's relatively easy to do. If I'm, uh, if I'm Tesco's and I want to figure out what the price of bread is somewhere else, I can walk into my competition's uh, supermarket and have a look. With insurance, it's difficult. Insurance risk rates are, are quite you know, complicated in terms of calculation. So you've got um, the customer's risk details, um, the, the, all of the other information on the proposal form, but also um, things like credit score. So those are... Uh, verifiable details um, that need to be captured. So you can't just type in any old details and, and figure out what the prices are. Also, they're really specific. You know, each individual customer has got an individual price. So doing that is, is, is more than just, um, you know, what's the price of this one SKU? Um, so um, for us at Simply Business, our approach to that has been... Um, Let's focus on ourselves, let's focus on our own strike rates, let's look internally, um, change, let's change our prices and figure out what impact that has on our conversion rate, because at the end of the day, uh, that's the number one metric. You know, in the last couple of years, we've focused on driving conversion, and we really wanted to understand uh, how, how to make the best use of price as a lever. Um, we've been discounting and, and that's driven our conversion rates. But um, in a market where we drive prices down, that means ultimately our, our competition will come down and, and we'll get into a price war and, and nobody will win in those circumstances. So you know, what we wanted to do was understand um, how do we, who do we need to be discounting and who, do we, who can we leave at the, at the normal prices. Um, we wanted to do that so that we could basically save money on the, on the level of discount that we're, we're driving. So our problem was, how do we distinguish between the customers that need that discount and those that don't? The problem we wanted to understand was um, which of our customers needed a discount um, in order to buy. Uh, and the way we addressed that was to, to really get some clean data, to really understand uh, our customers' behaviour. 
Now, of course, customers don't tell you what they would have done at a, uh, given a different price. So we wanted to capture information about, um, uh, what, uh, about how price affected the propensity to purchase in a really clean way. So what we did was clean up our data and we introduced um, three completely randomised control trials. Um, a third of our customers um, had the prices that they would have received previously. A third of our customers um, got prices that were, you know, included the discount, uh, and a third of our customers had prices that were a little higher. And what we did was um, run that for a period of, of three months and take that information about who purchased um, at, at any given price and build a, a, a regression model on top of that to understand the effective price stripping out all of the other factors to do with the customer. So stripping out, stripping out their, their turnover or their, um, or their trade. Um, what we want, then wanted to do was um, take this, this new model for, for how customers behave and build a new um, rating structure um, that, that took that into account uh, and was able to target the discounts that those we knew were, were needed those in order to purchase. Um, we did that, and, and you know, the, the results were astounding. We implemented that uh, in a controlled way and, and measured a 20% uplift in our profitability as a result. I think, look, we're, we're a technology business. We are a business that is um, focused on how we can leverage technology to make things better for customers. Um, that not only comes across through, um, through the, the website and the journeys that we deliver, but also through our use of data. And pricing has, has been one example of where we've leveraged data to drive uh, improved performance. You know, we've built up a, um, a four strong team now who's focused on um, pricing analytics. But I think, I think more than that, one of the lessons that we've learned for Simply Business is the importance of capturing and maintaining everything you can about, about your customers, because um, that's the way that you're going to deliver benefit to them in the future. Look, you know, we are a young and growing business. We started as a, a six guys in a room by Tower Bridge ten years ago, and now we're the UK's largest distributor of, of commercial lines with 360,000 customers. Um, we're going to use our data capability and we're going to find out more about customers and deliver better insights to build better products for them. Um, we're going to continue building, measuring and learning. So I can't tell you exactly what we're going to build, but I know it's going to be exciting. <laughs>